everyone, this is June Blender from Sapien Technologies, and today I'm going to introduce you to file groups, a great time-saving and organizational feature of PowerShell Studio. File groups let you open multiple files from multiple locations in a single click or double click. So I just opened 16 files in this file group. The files in the file group are ordered. So the files that I open always open and appear in PowerShell Studio in the order that is most convenient or most useful for me. I always use file groups for presentations. I don't want to fumble around looking for my demo files in front of an audience. But I also use them in testing scenarios and for complex projects. So let's create a file group. I'm going to close these files, close all documents, and open a few documents from different sources. I'll go over here and I'll grab these files, click open, and then I'll grab a help file that's in a different location. Hmm. Now, these didn't open in the order that I want to use them when I present, so I'm going to resort them. And this one goes after that one. There we go. Now they're in the correct order. Now to create my file group. I'll click File, New File Group, and then Save My File Group. We'll call this one Advanced. These are my advanced topics. Great. Now I can close all of these. And when I want to open them, here's my advanced file group file. I just double click that one. And they open in the order that I specified. This really is a time saver. Let's take a peek at that file. It's just a text file. Whoa. So you can open and edit it in Notepad. If you do, remember that they're listed in reverse order. The last entry will be the first tab, and the first entry will be the last tab. After I've used the file group, the file group is added to my recent documents. So if I close all of these files, and I want to start my presentation, I don't need to go rifling through folders. I just open my file group. One of the things that I like best about file groups, the file group file is independent of any of the files that are in the file group. The file group file is just a text file with a list of file paths. And because it doesn't leave any mark in my file, I know that the files that I'm using in my demos or in my projects are unaffected by the fact that they're in a file group. And of course, each file can be a member of many file groups. So that's the file groups feature in PowerShell Studio. Now that you know it, it makes for much quicker test setup and the end of the famous fumble before every presentation. Thanks for listening.